All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to upload images in Svelte Kit. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the terminal inside your code editor, and then we're going to run npm init Svelte, and then we're just going to press enter, and just we're just going to choose the skeleton project, and we're going to choose TypeScript syntax, and then no additional options. Then we're going to choose npm install. So then we're going to also install some of the types packages for Node. So we're going to do npm install dash dash save dev at types slash node. So then once everything is done installing, we're just going to run npm run dev and then close the terminal. So then right here in the source folder, or actually we're going to create a folder inside the root called files. So then what we're going to do is go to the source folder and go to the routes folder and then create a new file called plus page dot server dot ts. So then the first thing we're going to do is import everything that we need, especially the FS package and also the path package from Node.js and then we're going to create an object for, that's going to contain the actions and then we're just going to create one function called upload file. This is going to contain the logic for the actual uploading of the file and saving of the file inside our file system. So then we're just going to get access to the form data that we get from the form and then we're just going to get file name right here. So then we can get out of the, ca the catch block and redirect the user so they can actually see the file that they uploaded and then we're just going to get access to the file that we get from the form data and then we're going to verify to see if it's an actual image and not empty. And then we're going to get the current directory name using process.cwd. So then we're actually going to get the file name of the file in our local file system so that we can actually upload it. And then we're just going to upload data like this. And then we're just going to say well, we're going to write file sync. So ju we're just going to write the file to our file system, which is going to be to this directory and the file folder, the files folder you can see right here, and then it's going to append the file's name. So if it's going to be image.png, it's going to be file slash image.png. And then right here, all we're just doing is converting this array buffer into a uint array so that it can actually be uploaded. Then we're going to catch any errors that pops up. And then once we're done catching errors, we check to see if the file name has any, is actually valid or set. We just say that if it's not set, we just throw an error and if it is set, we're just going to redirect them to where the actual file is placed at. So then we can close this file and then we can open the plus page .svelte file. So then what we're going to do is create a script tag with the line property set to TS and you can see that we're importing the forms from our action data. This form just points to the return data that we get from this form action. So then we can close the file system and then if you want, you could even hover over it and you can see that message is equal to string as we have specified in our page.server.ts. So then we're just going to create a header and a form action pointing to the actual form action that we have on the server. You could check out my video on form action so you can see more, so you can learn more about this. So we obviously, whenever we post images, we have to say ink type, multi part, and form data. This is just Svelte Kip convention and also for web security. And then we're going to say an input with a type of field, but we're not going to specify what file types they can actually upload. So then we're just going to have a button called submit file so we can actually submit the file. Then if there is any error from the form, you can see that message string or it's null. So you can see it's possibly null. We're just going to say we're just going to display the message if it's not null. So then we're going to actually style the page right here. We're saying that the error message is going to be color of red. So then we can actually close these files and then in the routes folder, we create a files folder and then inside of here, we could also create a file called dot, dot, dot. And no, we could do bracket dot, dot, dot file and then closing bracket. So then in here, we're going to just have plus server dot TS. And this is going to take care of actually sending the file to the server or actually sending the file to the client. So then we import everything that we need and then we export an asynchronous function called get. So whenever the user sends a get request here, we're just going to send back the data or the image. And then we're just going to get uh, access to the directory name using the CWD function. And then we're going to create a try catch block and inside of here. We're just going to return a new response with the reading. We're going to read the file from where we got access to it. So if the user said uploaded it slash image dot PNG and they wanted to get access to it using this. And it's up here and uploaded in our files, we get they could actually have access to it over here. So you see that their name is just having access to this, but the para the params that dot file is actually having access to the file that's inside of the files folder. So then we're going to catch any errors that take place. And then we're just going to throw errors right here. Once that's done, we can save the file and then we can open up the terminal and go to localhost. So then once we're going to do that, we're going to choose file. 
So then once we have something uploaded, we can actually submit the file. We can actually submit file. And then boom, once we have access to it, we can actually see it in our browser. And then you could even see if you go to your file system inside your code editor, you can see that it's uploaded inside our files folder. You can even refresh this page and you can see that we get access to it again. Let me know if you guys have any requests for anything specifically that I'm willing to do. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have I hope you guys have a great day.